Hi, this is Emily Lee, Part of Art from the Heart, and this video is part of my guest designer post on the Altenew blog. I'm sharing two cards with a video for each. This first card features the Hug Me, Coffee Love, and Coffee Talk stamp sets. Both Hug Me and Coffee Love come with coordinating dies, and I'll be using those as well. First, I'll create a background using the heart-shaped coffee ring from Coffee Talk. The middle row will be stamped in the lightest of the three colors I've chosen, starting with sand dunes. Then I'll work my way out to the top and bottom edges with Rocky Shore and Mocha. This card panel is half a letter sized sheet of cardstock so I can cut it down and have the hearts perfectly centered on the panel. That way I don't have to worry about stamping so precisely. Now that the sand dunes line is complete, I'll start stamping with Rocky Shore above and below that line. I'll fast forward through the completion of the stamping with Mocha at the very top and bottom of the background. When all the stamping is done, I'll use a generic A2 size die to cut out the panel. I'll do that when all the images are stamped and colored, and after I choose and place the sentiment so I know whether I want the lightest row in the center or at the bottom of the card. I'll be stamping and heat embossing two of the foxes from Hug Me onto Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. I'll do the same with three images from Coffee Love. I sprinkle clear embossing powder on the Versafine pigment ink and heat set the powder. I'll be watercoloring the images with Distress inks. After I've chosen the color scheme and blotted the ink pads onto my craft sheet, I can start coloring. It took me about 25 minutes, so I'll speed through this stage. I also used my heat tool to speed up the drying process. Then I die cut the images and prepare to arrange them on the background. After determining final placement of the images and sentiment, I tape down the die which will cut out the panel. You can of course use a design ruler to mark the edges with a pencil and use a paper trimmer to get the same result. Now that the panel has been cut, I will rearrange the images as I had them and make sure they're where I want them to be. Looking at it this way, I want to mute the background a bit, so I cut out a piece of vellum and slide it behind the images. I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Ink to sponge around the edges of the panel to warm it up. Then I can adhere the stamped panel onto the card base. Next, I need to heat emboss the sentiment on the vellum before attaching it to the card base. I use the embossing bag before stamping and then apply clear embossing powder. I set it with my heat tool and now I can adhere the panel to the card base. I use a special vellum adhesive to adhere the vellum, and if you love to use vellum, I highly recommend vellum tape. I love that it's practically invisible. I will still use regular adhesive and even glue dots in sections where images are covering the adhesive behind the vellum, but for larger areas that need to be held down well, vellum adhesive is very handy to have. I want to adhere the images on the vellum sheet before attaching that to the stamped background since I want to know exactly where I can add regular adhesive behind the images to hold the vellum on more securely. I also don't want the middle section to bubble up where it doesn't have any adhesive. I adhere the Mocha Pot Espresso Maker with Zotz glue dots and pop up the large fox with foam tape. Then I adhere the coffee mug with micro glue dots and pop up the little fox and spoon with foam tape. It takes a bit of work to get the vellum to sit nice and flat, especially since I've embossed the sentiment on it. I have to work my fingers around the edges to get the bumps out. Now my card is done! Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching!